let's talk about teams. Now, maybe you're just a solo agent and you have an individual KV core account, but maybe you have brought on people into your brokerage or into EXP if you're an EXP agent. And sometimes you generate leads and you want to share those leads with somebody. So I have done that. So um, I have done that and I have marked them as the person's name. So I can find here where it says shared with Caitlin Laurel. I can find all the leads I shared with another agent that, that I'm trying to help out and give leads to. You do that by going to more actions and share contact. Now I can still see everything that's happening with this person. In fact, any communications still come directly from me. When there's an email sent, when there's a text message sent, it comes from my smart number. It comes with my signature. Um, however, Caitlin can take this contact and, and work with them. If I'm comfortable, once I'm comfortable with her just taking over the lead completely, then I can transfer the lead out of my system. Otherwise, you're just going to use it as a solo agent and not have a team and not work with other agents. And that's fine. It's kind of works for what I was just sharing that works for referring somebody to. If let's say you have somebody in your CRM and then you want to refer them to somebody, you can just transfer it to any other agent in your brokerage anywhere that's using KV Core. <laughs> and transfer the lead right to them and then get the referral fee if you ask for the referral fee. So that's something. Now, maybe you're a self-organized team. So maybe I could be a team leader, but I just have my own self-organized team. I don't have a team platform in KB Core. I have an individual account. All the agents I work with have individual accounts. I could do exactly what I did, what I showed you there and just share leads with other people. And then I give them hashtags of who I shared them with. Okay, so that I know who did I share this lead with um, in my system, and you could do the, the same thing or again just transfer them completely out or let's say that agent. Um, quits you can manage the sharing and remove them as an editor and share it with somebody else. Now maybe your domestic team, maybe you're you and your spouse, maybe you're either in exp realty as a domestic team where you have like one cap you know, one KB core account, they're almost seen as one agent, one sky slope account and your domestic team. Or maybe you're a domestic team, but you still have your individual things. You each have your own cap. You're, you didn't come into EXP like a domestic team and you don't want to change to a domestic team for whatever reason. Um, then you can still have one of your KB core accounts either way, branded as a domestic team. So let's look at... So this is lavabird.realestate. They're a domestic team and they actually actually have this lavabird.realestate is actually a vanity domain as well. So they've just branded themselves as a husband and wife team. They got their picture here, Jerry and Anya. The Leonard group, .exprealty.com. So they have changed their domain, their EXP Realty domain to the Leonard group .exprealty.com. And the broker approved that. They do not have a vanity domain they're paying extra for. Um, and they are branding themselves as a husband and wife team. So that is an option. Um, or you can order the team platform with KB Core, and you it's like $400 extra a month for the team add-on. Um, and what's nice about that is you get a team domain, and then you have subdomains. So let's look at a team website. This is Marianne Hoosh, Hoosh I can never say her name, but Nice lady. <laughs> so MarianHoosh.com, this is her team domain. You've got the meet the team roster. These are people on the team. And so if I click on Alicia, for example, it's actually going to take me to her subdomain, Alicia's own website. So this is Alicia's website, but you'll notice everything that was done on the team website has transferred over, has affected um, Alicia's website as well. So it still looks like the same team, the same group, but this is her own domain. The team leader herself also has her own subdomain. You can, as a team platform, you can have up to three different MLSs. So you will notice for Mary Marian, um, she's actually got Lake Tahoe area, which is one MLS, Reno, Nevada, which is a separate MLS, and Washington, D.C. Metro, which is a whole other MLS, obviously. So you can have up to three that's all connected to one account. So you'll see if I scroll down to the bottom, it says what MLS is connected. And because she's in a team, she can have up to three 
without having to have a separate domain as an EXP agent. Now, again, for non-EXP agents, they don't have to go through what we have to go through for now because they were set up later with different thinking and more experience, <laughs> but we'll get there. It's like untying a, a knot um, is what's happening.